What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video. It's going to be a rad movie review for a film that I recently caught on Tubi and it's called Mayhem. This is a horror comedy film from 2017 starring Steven Yeun and Samara Weaving and this is was a fantastic ride and I'm telling you right now, I need some more movies with them too in my life because they have some fantastic chemistry in this film. So let's get into this video. Today we're going to talk about my positives, my negatives, the rating that I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Mayhem is a 2017, like I said, horror comedy. This is directed by Joe Lynch, and it's a film where we follow Steven Yoon, who plays Derek Chow, who is a guy who works at one of those kind of corporate company places where you got to, you know, climb the ladder. You start out at the bottom doing the bare minimum, like kind of grunt work, and then you just, the years you put in, you put in work and, you know, climb to the top, and eventually you kind of got to step on some heads. You know, it's got that kind of feel to it, but takes place in a world where we have kind of similar it's a little COVID kind of thing going on it's a virus but instead this virus actually can make you kind of go wild like you basically don't have any like restraints from doing crazy stuff like killing or you know having sex in public or you know wanting to you know just cuss violently you know kind of thing like that you know anything that kind of hinders you from wanting to do anything violent aggressive or be like a wild asshole you know, that that virus just takes that away and you want to go balls to the wall and be raging. So, but yes, in this world, that's where it takes place. And of course, this office building where Derek works, you know, Stephen Yoon's character gets infected with this virus. And it happens on the worst day of his life when he gets fired from his job. And now he must instead team up with Samara Weaving and they must kill their way to the top and he must get to his bosses. So that's basically the sum up our film right there. So let's talk about the positives right away. So one key positive, I said this in my intro, is that Steven Yeun and Samara Weaving are just fantastic. Their chemistry on screen is perfect, and I fucking need some more films with them in my life because, like I said, they're just golden together. Perfect uh, actors to work together for this film, and I love that. The, just the way they go about this film, it's kind of almost like Bruce Lee's Game of Death. Like I said, they have to kill their way to the top of this office building to get to the bosses, the higher-ups, and try to win Derek's job back and everything. So I thought it was just a fantastic duo to go through this movie together. I also really enjoy the premise of this film. It's a wild film, and we have had films like this, similar, like The Sadness is a more hardcore version of this film. We also have 28 Days Later, which is kind of a similar version of this film. You know, it's a film that takes place in a world where we have a virus that, you know, makes people rage out and do wild stuff, you know what I mean? But like I said, in this one, we have a cure for it, but you must quarantine the building, and they get quarantined in the building for nine hours, and like I said, that's what kind of creates our situation, and I think it's just a fantastic premise and amazing idea, because it takes a combination of a bunch of other films I like, like I just said, The Sadness, 28 Days Later, those kind of films, horror type films, but also mixes it with some comedy elements as well, as well that land heavy. I like the comedy. It lands more often than it doesn't, but it also has some elements, like I said, of kind of game of death of their having to fight up the way to the top of the throne, going through kind of different sub bosses before they get to the big boss. We also have a really quick runtime on this. I think it's only about an hour and 31 minutes, so it's a fast runtime. It's a quick watch, and it's also got a really fast-paced editing, too, that assists in making the film just feel like, you know what I mean, the way they talk. Because Steven Yeun actually has a voiceover that he does where he explains some of the characters and his job and where he's at in life and what's going on in the world. So that editing and his, like, you know, voiceover really assists in the way they, and like I said, and being quick and keeping you enthralled with the film. And like I said, it's a fast watch being it's only an hour and a half. So I really enjoy that as well. Let's get into the mix and negatives because there are a couple of negatives with me. I really did have a fun time with this film. Like I said, this is a blast. It's a gory fun time. Actually, positive right away is that there is a lot of, like, quite a bit of gore and it's violent and stuff like that. 
but let's get, like I said, into the mixed and negatives. And one mixed and negative is that they definitely have some kind of just generic antagonists in this film. You know, they could have pushed it another level with having some really creative type villains. I know they're just supposed to be office type people and stuff, and they really do try to make it that next level with their personalities and everything. But yeah, I think having some more maybe better actors or better actresses, you know, in those roles, and we could have had these kind of more creative sub-bosses or big boss, you know, for an antagonist type character. One other negative is that it is kind of predictable in terms of the story and where it plays out and stuff. Like, I don't really want to spoil anything because I really do want people to check this out. It's currently streaming on Tubi for free, and I highly recommend you going checking this out because it's going to get a positive rating. I'm just telling you that right now. But yeah, it, it is kind of a predictable film, but I didn't mind it. The way that the ride that they took me on and the journey and how much fun I had throughout the film, the predictability did not bother me when I found out the ending. You know what I mean? So don't expect this to, you know, really change your worldview on like films or like, you know, kind of add that new element. It's just a really good horror comedy with a very solid cast, a, you know, gory premise and like I said, it executes it properly in my opinion. As for the rating in my book for Mayhem, this film's gonna get an eight out of 10. Like I said, this was a very, very fun ride. I had a blast with this film. Like I said, the cast, the gory premise, like all that kind of stuff. And like I said, we really get to see Steven Yeun and Samara Weaving have awesome chemistry. They have crazy weapons, like, you know, well, like, I mean, it's not crazy weapons, but you get to see them use their weapons, you know, and like all the violence that happens, like I said, and I could probably Probably personal tasting, maybe a little mixed. I could have had them amp it up a little bit more, like if they would have had this at kind of sadness, gore level, but still kept the comedy that they delivered in it, this probably would have been a 9 or a 9.5 out of 10 film because I'm always a fan of more gore. Me being a horror fan, I love gore, and I'm totally comfortable with that. And I can take comedy and gore in my film, and if you push the envelope, you can really take both to an 11 and it work, and I think this film, they could have done that, so that might be another kind of mixed or negative, but they really did have some awesome kills, and some awesome use of weaponry, and stuff like that, and like really, Steven Yeun, and Samara Weaving, it looks like they had a blast in this film, and I'm so happy that, you know, Joe Lynch, and hit the creators and writers, they brought us this type of film, because this, this is just one of those films that I'm happy that it exists, because it's a crazy fun ride, with an awesome cast, and like I said, it's just I highly recommend checking this out because an 8 out of 10 is a solid rating in my book. But be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this pretty soon. I'm going to be popping out some other rad movie reviews, maybe some rankings or some other stuff. I'm planning for some horror content and everything. But I also picked up something new, a used uh, physical media item that I got from a local store here. So I'll be doing a little physical media stuff as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. But most importantly... I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.